when Charles Darwin published The Origin of Species, most people believed that different species and then even domestic breeds of species had separate independent origins going back to the beginning of time and were not related through common descent. Charles Darwin, among his many arguments, felt that hybridization was proof of common ancestry, that if two individuals, say for example, wolves and dogs could interbreed as they are known to do, this was proof that they were similar enough to share a common ancestor. They were not independent of uh, each other and completely unrelated to each other. Darwin also reasoned that not only could different breeds or subspecies of a species share a common evolutionary or uh, origin, but also that different species within the same genus, in this case the genus Canis, could share a common ancestor, and use the fact that there are interbreedings which are known between wolves and coyotes uh, in both uh, captivity and the wild. We now know that uh, red wolves, a subspecies of wolf, uh, typically have some coyote DNA, and the eastern coyote spreading throughout uh, the northeastern United States has some wolf DNA, that this is evidence of hybridization and thus a shared ancestry. There are two species of jackal classified in the genus Canis, and they can interbreed with each other. And on rare occasions, they can interbreed with other canids. There are uh, hybridizations which have occurred between jackals and dogs, and some golden jackals possess wolf DNA. Charles Darwin himself noted in a zoo uh, a hybridization between a dog and a jackal, and noted that in some cases the hybrids seem to be infertile, but in others, uh, they could give rise to fertile offspring. While the African wild dog is closely related to the genus Canis, and by some uh, taxonomists actually classified in the genus Canis, there are no known hybridizations between African wild dogs and wolves, uh, and coyotes, dogs, or jackals. It is not known why, and this would be different biologically in each case. Apparently the genetic differences are such that they cannot successfully hybridize together even though they have the same number of chromosomes, 78. Many dogs within the family Canidae share a much more distant ancestor than those wolves, dogs, coyotes, and jackals in the genus Canis. And as a result, as genetic differences have built up, hybridization apparently um, has become impossible. Obviously, some of them vary in the number of chromosomes. Red foxes, for example, have 34 chromosomes compared to the 78 in dogs and wolves. Uh, fennec foxes have 64 chromosomes. Raccoon dogs have 42. And so, hybridization can show a common ancestry in closely related species, but as species uh, are more distantly related, it is likely that the genetic differences which have accumulated between them has uh, uh, gotten to the point where hybridization is no longer possible.